a very good evening to the gathering here. Uh, there's a beautiful saying in English, gratefulness is a quality which should never be overlooked if we would like to raise ourselves in the world. Something very similar is what is found in Thiruvalluvar's Thirukkural, Nandri Marappadu Nannandru. En nandri kondrarkum uivundam uivillai shai nandri kondramagarkku. Another parallel to it in Sanskrit is Paropakara vismritar na yujjate managapi Apakriyatu tatkrita tadaiva vismritavara So to exemplify these beautiful sayings it would be rather better if I would convey my gratitude and my heartfelt thanks to Aparao Gallery and its organizers for having held and given me the space to speak on Purusha Suktam day one Shri Suktam on day two and of course the audience here. Something very uh, sacrosanct is what our ancestors have mentioned is about Vedas. For years and for centuries and for millenniums immemorial we have seen that uh, Vedas were always restricted to a certain community. Nevertheless, the quintessence of Vedic teachings have always percolated to other communities in, at various levels. So today, we are going to talk about Purusha Suktam. And we need to understand what this Suktam is all about. There are, uh, I think in the last lecture when I spoke about the five elements at Apparao, I did mention about how space acts and how does, how did Veda, Veda especially, the sound emerge. So something very similar here, I need to mention about how these mantras and Vedas have come. For this we need to understand where these sounds have emanated from because we say apivakprapanchaihi. These Vedas were never written by someone, apaurusheyai. The beauty about Vedas is Appaurusheyehi Purusheyaha Paurusheyaha Appaurusheyaha It has never been touched by a human. The meaning is it was never composed by someone. But logic doesn't give us space to think that way. Though there may be books and there could be holy books which say that this is a revelation. We believe that in logic it has to come from somewhere. So where did this Vedas come from? You are saying that it was not composed by someone. How did this emerge? Let me give you an explanation what my teachers have given me. I am not sure whether you will find it satisfactory enough. Nevertheless, um, the sounds that are in the air are captured by various beings at various levels. We have seen that in dogs, we have seen that in bats, that they can decipher sounds of these decibels, whereas we cannot. Likewise, rishis in those days, who used to be in penance and who used to adhere to certain rules and regulations and who could control themselves in terms of food, living, breathing, etc., none of which is possible today. I should speak for myself. If you ask me to control my food on the day of Ekadashi, I can. But imagine every day to be an Ekadashi, I can't. Likewise, if you ask me to do pranayamam, I can hold it for 10 seconds, not more than that. If you ask me to swim, I go inside and hold my breath for a cer certain period of time, I can do it, not always. So they were rishis who could do it beyond a certain limit. So they could always hear more than what a normal human being could hear. So if I can hear the sound of the car that's honking outside, a rishi could also sense the sound which is in the air which could not be sensed by a normal human being. So they started coding or they started recording all these sounds. So these sounds were found to be in three levels. They were either at a pitch which is in the middle or they were at a pitch which is very high or they were at a pitch which is very low. In music you call it octaves. If you uh, read the reviews of Kacheris, which is just going to happen in 2-3 months, you will see that critics write, uh, uh, with due respect to critics, whoever is critiquing writes, not criticizing. 
So, critiquing writes that the singer did sing in this octave, in that octave. Sarigama Padanisa Sanidapama Gayarisa. This is a pitch in which I am comfortable at. Whereas there are certain ragas that need to be sung in certain, in a madhyamam. For example, if I take Bhavayami, I have to sing it in madhyamam. So there are, music has its own rules. But in music you have got a variety from sa to sa. Whereas in the sounds what the rishis deciphered, they had only three sounds. Middle, up and down. So this was called as udatam, swaritam, dirgha swaritam. That is why if you take a book of Vedas with Vedic mantras, you will find lines over and below the alphabets. Saying that this alphabet, this swaram has to go up, this aksharam has to come down. Sahasra seer sa purushaha may resemble the ECG report that you get. Very similar to that. So this was the pattern which those extraordinary rishis could record. Eventually, it would have happened that they would have fit alphabets there to match the description of the creation of this universe. So, it would have initially been like this. Just the sound. Then they would have fit Sa, Ha, Sra, Si, Sha, Pu, Ru. So, these alphabets started matching. These alphabets, in turn, in their crude form, gave rise to literature. That is why, if you listen, I will get into Purusha Suktam because the foundation needs to be good. I cannot keep uh, telling the meaning of Purusha Suktam when the basic meaning of how Vedas have come is in slight, in a dilemma. So, what we need to observe is the words what we speak today. Pujantam. Rama Rameti, Madhuram, Madhuraksharam, Aruhya Kavita Shakham, Vande, Valmiki, Kokilam. Makes a lot of meaning. Pujantam, somebody is making this sound. Rama Rama Iti, but that sound is not sound, but it is coming in the form of words, saying Rama Rama Iti, thus. But it is very sweet too. Madhuram, Madhuraksharam, every alphabet is so beautiful. Aruhya Kavita Shakam, climbing on the branch of that tree, where Vedas have themselves personified as the tree. Aruhya Kavita Shakam, who is that bird? Bande, I salute to that bird. Valmiki, who is the cuckoo? Koyal bird, Kokilam. So, see the meaning that comes out of this shloka. How does this meaning come? Because these words have a meaning. How do these words emerge? A group of uh, letters make this word. Where did these letters emerge? That is where we have Vedas coming into picture which starts with Aivunu, Riluku, Jabakatadas, Ayyaunj. These are all the crude forms of the words. So these words were refined, refined, further refined and thus came A, A, E, E. So the original crude form of Sounds where I wunu riliku jabakatadas. From those came letters. A group of letters made a word. A group of words made a sentence. Sentences transformed into prose, poetry, and a champu, which is gadhyam, padhyam, and champu in Sanskrit. So literature has basically come from letters. Letters have come from Vedic sounds. So Vedic sounds is the basic factor. So this is called Shabda Shastram. The implication is in Vedas. More, more than the importance attached to the pronunciation, it is the uh, importance that is given to the sound. In Sanskrit, it is not so. Now you may wonder, you are saying Sanskrit differently and Vedas differently. Yes, the language of Vedas is not Sanskrit. Sanskrit resembles the Vedic language. Remember this very well. There was the great saint of Kanchi, who is often referred to as Paramacharya, or in the South Indian language as Mahapiriyava, he was 
designated as a pontiff of Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Peetham and he was christened, he was given the name Chandrasekhar Saraswati. Saraswati is a surname given to the sannyasis of Shankaracharya uh, lineage and they have 10 different names, Bharati, Tirtha, Saraswati, Pada and so on. So they are given Saraswatis and he was called Chandrasekhar Saraswati, often referred to as Paramacharya. He clarified this very beautifully stating that the language of Vedas is called Vaidika Bhasha. The language that came later which was called Sanskrit resembled Vaidika Bhasha because you can never find a lot of words of the Vedas in the Sanskrit dictionary. You can never find Drapi, it comes in Rudram, you can never find. Okay, let me not get too much into this because it will be very tough to absorb. I am sure Purusha Suktam in itself is a very uh, tough topic to digest. Though it's an often heard word or an often recited hymn, yet it is tough. Why am I using the word tough? Because what you are going to get in the next 45 minutes is going to be really the succinct meaning, the quintessence of Vedas. Why so? Now before I, uh, now I have laid the foundation, two, three points, let's quickly revise. In Vedas, more than Sanskrit literature, the more than the pronunciation which is given importance in Sanskrit literature, it is the sound which is important in Vedas. One. Second, the language of Vedas is called Vaidika Bhasha. Later, a beautiful language called Sanskrit resembled that Bhasha. So people often confuse that Vedas are in Sanskrit. Two. Three. A very, very important point. It is very important that you understand this point to further go delve into this topic. In literature, we always understand the meaning of a word with reference to the context. Either we read or we hear. For example, give me peace. What is the spelling of peace there? Give me peace. What's the spelling of peace? P-E-A-C-E. -E. Give me a peace. P-I-E-C. So now you use the grammatical rule of having an indefinite article a or a before the word to determine the spelling of the word. Eventually the meaning of the word also changes with the spelling of the word. If I use a, the indefinite article, it is P-I-E-C-E. -E. Without it, it is P-E-A-C-E. -E. With P-I-E-C-E, -E, I understand that it is a portion of something. P-E-A-C-E -E is an abstract noun that talks about a feeling. So, you understand the various parts, the figures of speech based on what you hear. Now, let us take another uh, example. In Sanskrit, when Lord Krishna was born, the 10th Skanda, Canto, I don't know what canto means in English. That's what people keep saying. Skandam is easier to me. So, Dashama Skandam in Bhagavatam states, Tam Adbhutam Balakam Ambujekshanam Chaturbhujam Shankhagadhar Yudhar Yudam Shrivatsalakshmam Galashobhikaustuvam Pitambaram Sandra Payodi Saubhagam Maharta Vaidurya Kirita Kundala Kvisha Parishvakta Sahastra Kuntalam Uddhama Kanchi Gada Kankana Dibhir Virocha Manam Vasudeva Maikshata. For this beautiful verse, Vedanta Deshika, my inspiration, my Salman Khan, my hero, in Yadava Bhudayam states when Lord Krishna was born, the mother who could not see where her son, newborn son, kid is, came to know of his position and place with the white sparkling two rows of teeth. Dvija, Chandra, Chandrikam, Aikshata. Aikshata is to see two rows of sparkling white teeth. So that time he states Dvijaha. Dvijaha is the word he uses for teeth. Okay, singular being tooth. Let's not get, it, get into English. English is all, though with 26 uh, characters, it is conf more confusing than Sanskrit with 256 characters. That's how it is. One. Now, there's another place in Bhagavatam where it is stated 
that Rukmini sent her letter of love to Krishna through a Dvijaha. Now, the same Dvijaha is used. So, if their Dvijaha meant the teeth, it cannot mean teeth here. She cannot send her letter through the teeth. It doesn't make any sense at all. Even if you are the biggest of the poets and you can convince being the best of the advocates, you cannot use this meaning of teeth there. Here, Dvijaha means the twice born. So, it often refers to a Brahmana, a Kshatriya or a Vaishya whose, whose birth is from his mother for the first time. Then at the age of seven, if at all, there is a thread ceremony that is performed in their house. Then he is born for the second time. So, he is born twice. So, she must have sent through a Brahmana. Uh, a person who is born twice. But if this meaning is construed, then there, when Krishna was born, Vija Chandra Chandrika Maikshata, it cannot mean the Brahmana there. So, the same word Dvijaha should have two meanings. So, then we get into the Vyutpatti. How did this word come? Dvirjayate, that which is born twice. So, the teeth is also born twice. It comes as a milk teeth and permanent teeth. Here, it is the Brahmana. And third, in another place, you have the bird which is being referred to as Dvijaha. Because it comes as the egg and then comes the chick. So it is oviparous in nature in zoology. So you have got Dvijaha there. So the same word with the same spelling could have different meanings. The same pronunciation piece could have different spellings and different meanings. So this is how we check in literature, be it in English or in Sanskrit. Interestingly, the third point that I wanted to bring about Vedas is, in Vedas, you don't go by the meaning of the word as per the context. You go by as per the sound. For example, Ajaha. Ajaha, Ajaha means a sheep. It also means Brahma in literature. I don't know why both of them share the same name. Nevertheless, so Brahma means Ajaha. The sheep, goat. Sheep, goat. The difference, I don't know. So, sheep, goat, Ella, Let us consider that particular category that is called Ajaha. The other meaning for Ajaha is, it comes in Sahasranamam. I was explaining the meaning of every name in Vani Mahal. Uh, I have just start, completed five names out of thousand. So, leftover is 995. So, there, there is one word, Ajaha. Ajaha. Durmarishanaha, Shasta, Vishrutatma, Surariha. There Ajaha comes. So it should not mean goat. Rostuti Panipti or goat, yard in your Radhika Pandra. Oh no. Second, it could not mean Brahma. There in that context it doesn't appear right. So Ja in Sanskrit means one who is born. Ajaha means one who is not born. The unborn is called Ajaha. That is why in Vedas you have got one line. Ajayamano Bahudha Vijayate. Ajayamano, from the one who is unborn, Bahudha Vijayate, many things are born. So you have got Ajaha, which also means the one who is unborn. Now in Vedas, you get the same Ajaha twice. In one Anuvakam, you have got Ajaha. In another mantra, Ajaha. So, not on the context, but on the sound. If it is Ajaha, it is sheep. Ajaha means the unborn. So in Vedas, the language is different. It is not Sanskrit. Sanskrit resembles. Why am I telling Sanskrit resembles? I should not say Vedas resemble because Vedas came first. Sanskrit came later. Amma madri tham korenda rakhan jolono. Yeah, korenda madri amma arkna chulva. I am using Tamil intermittently uh, to be politically correct as well as I love the language. Uh, one. So these are the three things that you need to remember about Vedas. In Vedas, you have got certain sections which praise the Lord in a man mantric form, in a mantra. Tantric is tantra, mantric is mantra, in a mantra form. They will be in certain meters. These meters are referred to as rik. In English, don't we call sonnets the 14-line poem? In Japanese uh, literature, don't you have the haiku with the 7, 5 and 7 syllables? Likewise, certain number of alphabets and sounds constitute a rik. So, if certain mantras are in tune to the rik form, those mantras were taken and bucketed and that bucket was called rik vedam, rik vedam. Simple. We need to understand this very clearly. It's like bucketing. In Six Sigma, the training, you undergo a process called as bucketing. Bucketing means to put 
things of similar nature in one bucket. Likewise, we have these Riks in Rig Vedam. Next, now don't ask me how did Rik become Rig Vedam? Because in Sanskrit, when you join words, there are certain alphabets which undergo transformation. Nara plus Ayana is not Narayana, it is Narayana. Na becomes Na in certain words. So we need to understand. In a Rig Veda, somebody will say, I had a doubt why Rig Veda became Rig Veda. Though it will not matter if I give this answer. There are certain people who ask such questions as well. More than what is important, there are certain people. So, Rig Vedam becomes Rig Vedam in a certain grammatical rule. Now, there are certain passages in Vedas which are very important to conduct the homam, yajnam. Why am I not using the English word? In English, it is called sacrifice. If I say the word sacrifice, lot of other things will come to your mind. Sacrifice na inne. Who is going to be sacrificed? Which animal is going to be sacrificed? So, sacrifice is not the right word. Because why do you know why it is called sacrifice in English? The right way why they have put sacrifice is, when you are offering something in the yajnam, you say, idan namama, it is not mine. So, you are sacrificing it. You are abandoning it. So, that is why it is called sacrifice. But the word sacrifice is not right because it could be misconstrued. So, I am saying the word yajnam or homam. So, whatever befits performing the yajnam or homam, those passages were bucketed into yajurvedam. Yajurvedam is classified into white and black. Don't assume only in money there is white and black. Even in Vedas, you have got white yajurveda, black yajurveda. It is called shukla yajurvedam and krishna yajurvedam. This is puri Third, the the passages in Rig Vedam, when they are sung in a certain fashion, certain fashion, not in any fashion we like, that is why remember, in a certain fashion, it is called Samaganam. Hence, Rig Veda, a large portion of the Rig Veda itself gets transformed when sung in a different way called as Samavedam. But when I say the word sing, when you hear people reciting Ch Samavedam, you may feel that they are not adhering to the musical format. When you hear Sama Vedam, so, you should not assume that you said it is sung in a certain fashion, but this is not in any fashion. That is how Sama Vedam is. Fourth, those passages which did not fit in the first three buckets of Rig, Yajuhu, and Sama Vedam were put in the last bucket called as Atharvana Vedam which is generally meant for leading a daily life, like designing a weapon. Now, don't ask me, why should we use a weapon? Even a small instrument that is used to perform a homam is called a weapon. Ayudham. Ayudham doesn't mean only AK-47 or something like that. Anything is called an Ayudham. At times, even if you throw a bucket, that bucket at that time becomes Ayudham, right? So, Ayudham, that comes under Atharvana Vedam. The beauty is, all these passages are entirely different. Very different. And you have got various subsections in each Veda. If I get into it, it will be very confusing. Let us keep it there. So, we have understood Vedas, its unique characteristics. At the same time, how they were bucketed into Rig, Yajuhu, Sama, Atharvana. Now, all the passages in these Vedas are mostly different. There could be a few lines that are repeated here and there. You will find this line in Rig Veda, third Anuvakam and Sama Veda, third Shaka. You can find certain sentences being repeated. But there is only one portion in the Vedas which is found in totality in all the four Vedas. That is only Purusha Sukta. The entire Purusha Suktam is found in totality in all the four Vedas stressing that this is the most important part of Vedas. That is why the first shloka I recited 
Vedeshu Paurusham Suktam. In Vedas, it is the Paur Purusha Sukta. Puraneshu Cha Vaishnavam. Of the Puranas, it is Vishnu Puranam. Bharate Bhagavad Gita. In Mahabharata, the quintessence is fit into Bhagavad Gita. Dharma Shastreshu Cha Manavam. Amongst the Shastras, there are many Shastras, Dharma Shastram. It is the Manu Dharma Shastram which rules. Look in which city I am talking about Manu Dharma Shastram. Nevertheless, this is the unique characteristic or the USP of Purusha Suktam that it is found in all Vedas in totality. So this Purusha Suktam is recited by people who have learnt Vedas daily and this is called Brahma Yajnam. Brahma Yajna means reciting a part of Vedas every day. Let me now get into the Purusha Suktam passages and explain. I hope you will have the script of it. Even if you don't have, generally there was a rule and there is still a rule by most learned scholars that women should not recite Vedas. The moment I say learned scholars, we should respect that they are learned and they have a reason behind it. Well, certain reasons are comprehensible. Certain reasons are explainable. Certain reasons are felt. There are certain reasons which when heard may not be felt. But for the mere respect that we have for those learned people, we don't question. That's how we have been brought up. Nevertheless, questioning is an art which Krishna himself extols and exemplifies in Bhagavad Gita stating Tadvidhi Pranipatena Parik Prashnena Sevaya Upadekshanti Degnyanam Jnaninaha Tatvadarshinaha But to get answers to certain pertinent and troubling questions, one can resort to the lotus feet of his preceptor and he will get it in some form or the other. When I say some form, it could be either an answer or it could be just an experience. Certain times, experiences in life give us very good satisfying answers. We don't need answers as sentences. They could be imbibed and intertwined in experiences themselves. Here, the first part, when I, why did I say that most learned scholars say women can't recite? The point I was trying to tell was women can listen and understand. That's the point I was trying to bring. The first uh, mantra before we start the Vedas and we end the Vedic portion, we recite two things. Harihi Om. That Harihi is not Harihi. Ila. Harihi. Ila. Harihi Om. The way I recite tells that sound is very important in Vedas. We cannot tune it and give it to any music director to tune. The music has been set. It has to be sung in this way only. There is no question of Manodharmam in Vedas. Music may have it. In this, we don't have Manodharmam at all. Manodharmam is Mano Vaj Dharmam. Whatever is right to the Manas of not us, of the Rishis is Manodharmam in Vedas. Not our Manodharmam. Arihi Om. The first mantra. Sahasra Sirsa Purushaha. Sahasraksha Sahastrapad Sabhumim Vishvato Pritva Atyatishthat Dashangulam It talks of a Purusha. Now the moment I say Purusha Suktam, you see what all ha will happen in the audience. When I say audience, people who listen. So Vedas talk about a man. He's, they are to it is talking about the male, Purusha. Tamil they say, Yam purusen vittu kundirukkaru, and the purusen. So husband is often called purusen. Yeah, samsara na, in Sanskrit samsara means cycle of birth and death. In Tamil samsara means wife. Purusen is husband. So people will often get confused. Don't have this confusion. In Sanskrit, purushaha, agragami purushaha, whoever walks first is called purusha. In a couple, if the lady walks first, she is called purushaha in Sanskrit. So, Purushaha has nothing to do with XY alleles in biology. It has to do with more of the commanding nature. So, in each house, they, the couples have to decide who is the Purushaha. 
that's it one second thing purushaha in sanskrit can mean the man can mean the man but in english man essentially doesn't denote a male man kind nu solrom appadina women kind nu kedaiyada man na any human is called man be it a male or a female is in english dictionary man is any being we have often misconstrued man to be male not necessarily two third point purushaha can denote a he h e but that he may not resemble the he that we see i will give you one very good example from tiruvaimuri you might have heard of a beautiful work by the great mystic saint of the tamil tradition called nammalvar who has sung four works in tamil four quite equivalent to the four vedas amongst which the sama vedas essence has been brought out in tiruvaimuri there he says aanallan pennallan ala aliyumallan I, this even if you understand basic tamil you can understand this sentence he talks about some cosmic being aanallan pen allan ala aliyum allan we know only these three genders we initially knew two two but then the court ruling said you have to bring even the third in application form so we have started knowing the three male female and transgender third in bharatam we have got shikandi and all that now interestingly when this verse was being explained 800 years before by a teacher the student posed a question he said sir you have taught us only three male female transgender but here the alvar says aan allan pen allan ala aliyum allan see you should fall in one of the three categories i take one element and i say it is neither metal nor non metal nor metalloid ipdi irukku periodic table abdi or concept e illi halogens ku we have to bring it somewhere what to do now that time the teacher said note this point what has he said aan allan if his no- notion if the alvar's notion was to say that the lord is not male not female not ali he should have said aan allan pen allal ala aliyum alladu but alvar doesn't say so he says aan allan pen allan ala aliyum allan the words have changed but allan remains the same allan is denoted only for he so the lord is essentially the purusha but the purusha is different from the male that you see the purusha is different from the female that you see purusha is different from the transgender you see so essentially we have to remember whenever we think of the lord we should not assume that he has got feet like us limbs like us the moment we start associating his body parts with us then we will say i have got arthritis will he have i have got spondylitis will he have my blood group is a positive what is his so he has got limbs he has got feet but they are not like us how do we understand if everything were so understandable and comprehensible there wouldn't have been vedas at all there should be some part which one should contemplate and see answers to that is why you have got purusha sutra correct second why should we not associate us with the lord not associating will mean offense in shastras andal says undannodu uravel namakku ingu olika oliyadu the association with you and me is unbreakable and inseparable so why do i say that we should not associate not associate in the body form because the moment we start assuming then we will say tomorrow when i say shri shri suktam not tri suktam shri suktam then i will start associating uh, associating with a lady you might have noticed all this in kerala there is one temple where they say there is a cloth of the devi comes with blood stains on her in 3 days all this is not acceptable to the logical part of vedas but now see the moment we start associating the gods with us we start associating all our cycles and periods with them this is not right so we should understand purusha suktam in a very different context that is why i started the first mantra purusha essentially means a he 
very different from the he that you are thinking and seen and you have experienced. Simple. Sahasrasir sa purushaha shiras means head. Sahasra means thousand. He has got a thousand heads. Sahasrakshaha thousand eyes. Sahasra path. He has got thousand limbs to walk. The moment I say this, then somebody will laugh. <laughs> What kind of a creation is he? A thousand heads, huh? thousand eyes. What is he? Immediately one person who is a very good artist will start drawing thousand heads. But here logic says every head should have two eyes. Here they say sahasra shiras, thousand heads. But they don't say two thousand eyes. They say only thousand eyes. So it very, very sentence term explains that it is not to tell how many heads he has got. But it is to tell that he is so huge and unimaginable that you cannot put him to a portrait. Krishna you can put because that is how he was. But Virata Purusha you can never put. Sahasras. See the Vishwarupa photo that we see what Arjuna has seen. I don't know who brought that form. All this has not been mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. He showed a huge form. But today what we see is one Vishnu's photo, one side is Brahma's head, one side is Shiva's head, one side is Ganesha, one side is Murga. I don't know where all this came from. See, whatever we construe and claim it to be from the sciences of Vedas should adhere to some reference. So, there's no Ungal choice here. In Vedas, there is no place. Sahasra here is just a word which means infinity or countless. See, the moment we say Sahasra Namam, you will say, oh, he has got only thousand names. No, these were the names that were chosen of the Lord because these names were sung by Rishis. Rishi Bhiv Parigitani Tani Vakshyami Bhutaye. Here, Sahasra Sirisa Purushaha means his heads are so many in number. The heads doesn't essentially amount to thousand. Sahasrakshaha, thousand eyes, means he sees from everywhere. Dhritatana mandra vayana mandra, the owner has gone out, his eyes are with him, so he cannot see. But the owner says, I have left a CCTV camera in my house to denote that though my eyes with my body are elsewhere, my other eyes are seeing you. Likewise, the eyes of the Lord see from you within and from outside. Sahasrakshaha, Sahasrapad, he doesn't need limbs to walk. But why does the, why, why is it mentioned of Sahasrapad to say that he walks with you? Often some people say, right, this Lord walks with you. They have got it from Sahasrapad. Sabhumim Vishwato Vritva From where you stand till where you see Atyat Tishthat Dasha Angulam But his size is, see they say the entire world is his. He has manifested. But his size is only dasha angulam. See, you take your finger and put it one above the other, little finger ten times. That is what they say is the size of the Lord. Dasha angulam. Now, this doesn't fit. In whose, even if you take Goliath's finger and put, it will not measure till the sky. So, why does this dasha angulam come? Because in Sanskrit, there are numbers from zero to nine. There is no number above that. Because the next number you use is a combination of the first nine al numbers you have seen. Ten in portalo, munadi irka one zero combination dane. One one portalo, it comes from this. So the basic set is zero to nine. So the moment Veda says dasha angulam, dasha which doesn't exist, which means infinite. Puriyarda. Second meaning. This, these are all meanings that a great commentator called Sayanacharya has given. Because if you buy translation books, they will not give you so many. Either. So, uh, bow to the uh, thousand headed, kama, thousand eyed. I have been telling you that I have been telling you that I have been you that I have been telling 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 you that I so there Valmiki starts. Ekakshim, Ekakarnim. Ekakshim means with one eye. Ekakshi, Ekakarnila, Namavandu, you soda bottle, Kanna iram, this blade, Pakiri, Adinam Verakram. And the Mari Ekakshi, Ekakarni, where did this Ekakshi come? 
So don't get confused. Next, the other meaning for Dasha Angulam is creation. Where did it begin? Generally, who is the person whom we associate creation with? Whom do we associate creation with? Brahma. Brahma sprung from the lotus. Lotus comes from Nabi. So, creation's manifestation or creation's creation, creation's creation na puriyada, creation is Brahma. His creation. That is why in Tamil, in Kamban, Kamba Ramayanam, Kamban says through Bharata, Shuchattar Devarudum Tholanindra Kosalayai Tholudunokki Kuchat, this is translate from the Tamil, this is a very good Tamil. Kuchattar Kurishil Ivararan Guhanvinava Gogavegan Muchattan Mudal Devi Moovulagum Indranai Munni Indranai Petrattal. There, Bharata says, Guha, this is Kaushalya. You know whom did she give birth to? She gave birth to the creator's creator. Moovulagum Indranai Munni Indranai Petrattal Perum Selvam. Yan Pirandadal Suranda Periyal Yenran. This is Kambaramayana. Today, many people raise flags in our city. Tamilai Kapo. Yeringa Tamilai Kapo. Yave Varame Nata Kapo. Anale. So, here, Dasha Angulam means creation is Nabhi. There you have got Brahma. And where does the Lord sit? We should understand. Where does the Lord sit? Huh? Sesha Sayanam. Where is Sesha Sayanam? Vaikuntam. Ah, Vaikuntam. Okay. Where is Vaikuntam? See, you can see Ambaram, Udarithu, Vongi Vulagan. But where is the replica of that? He sleeps. Parkadalul, Payyattu, Indra, Paramanadi, Padi. Beautiful. Where is he? See, if you go to Parthasarathi temple, if at all you go, you will see, you will not be able to see the temple in totality. Go. You go to the Madapalli and they make very good prasadam there. It is more famous than the Lord there. People will buy, pack, eat and come. But where will you get to see the plan of the temple? Inside the temple when you do a pradakshinam, you will see a small replica of the temple made. So you will say, oh, inga da arukkoon. Aha, idda na sanadhi. Oh, inga madil irukka. So every temple will have its own replica. Vaikuntham's replica of the Lord reclining on the serpent couch on the milky waters is inside our heart. That is why the replica of the Lord is in our heart. Simple. See, when Prahlada was pushed from the cliff, he held his heart. The soldiers were worried. We are going to push you completely, not only the heart. He said, no, I am not holding it for that reason. They asked him, why? Because the Lord is inside my heart, says the Shastra. If I fall, due to the jerk, he should not be disturbed. So I am holding him. He held. Now, that replica is inside me. So the supreme soul is in my heart. The creators, the creation Brahma is in my Nabi. So Dasha Angulam denotes the distance between the Nabi and the heart. Dashangulam. So there are two meanings that I have told. Now I will give a question paper at the end of it and you have to answer. Purusha Yevedagum Sarvam Yat Bhutam Yacha Bhavyam Bhutam Bhutkal Past tense Bhavyam Future Bhuta Bhavyam Here they say Purusha Yevedagum Sarvam That Purusha whom I have denoted with all these shapes with all this description, Evedagum Sarvam Yet Bhutam Yet Chabhavyam, what is whatever is going to happen in the future and whatever has happened in the past, he only knows. That is why Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Bahuni me Vyatitani, Janmani, Tavacha Juna. Both of us are common in one aspect. You have had many births, so have I. There is one difference. You remember none, I remember all. Bhuta Bhavyam. That is why in Sahasranamam you have got the Vishwam, Vishnu, Vashatkaraha. Next, Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu. See how, that is why they say, if you recite Vishnu Sahasranamam, it is like reciting Vedas. Because Vedas is what is seen there. 
यत् भूतम् यच्च भव्यम् उतामृतत्वस्येशानः यदन्ने नातिरोहति अन्ने नातिरोहति इन इंद्रत्व वडेरा अर्क ब्यूटीफुल उतामृतत्वस्येशानः with the one who knows about the past and the future you will be able to reach him see he who is the destination himself becomes the means means and the destination is same in the lord through him you reach him abadi thane povom inga epdi vandel we came by apparao gallery to apparao gallery ni yarum sollamatta because the means and the destination is always different the upayam and upayam is always different but here utamr tatvasyeshanah if you have to reach amritam amritam na again if i say amritam people will say amritam means ambrosia how that indra got not that amritam amritam means immortality that means you are immortal after leaving your mortal remains so when you go there you are never born not being born is called amritam utamritatvasyeshanah so to be immortal or to be with him you go through him yadanne nati rohati that one remember you have to get all this connected even one second of distraction or lethargy can put you off from this course this is not a discourse where we are going to talk about anecdotes and make people happy that is not my intent i need to make your minds happy not your hearts happy here yadanne nati rohati that one who has manifested as annam food now how did food comes from you are talking about immortality suddenly you have reached food you are reminding us also of it there is one tuscana very close by correct uh, there is one coffee day this side you are talking about food annam in sanskrit has one vyutpatti aticha atyacha annam means aticha atyacha if you consume annam within limits you can consume it if you cross be, go beyond the limit that will consume you annam means aticha atyacha one meaning annam also denotes the purusha the cosmic form of the lord his replica is also annam you might have heard the elders say saapada veen adikade annatha micha padutade venda veen adikade ad perumal that would have just been a colloquial statement but to the vedas utamr tatvasyeshanah yadanne nati rohati that line has been translated by the grandmother annatha waste pannada idu perumal yadanne nati rohati why because we believe that the jeevatma rests till it gets a body the sthula shariram till it gets the body there also there is one waiting list like train to get the body the jeevatma has to wait certain jeevatmas wait for a longer period some wait for a shorter period it depends on the karma there also there also that rac waiting list will come like irctc so that jeevatma rests in the end of a rice grain as per our vedas in brahma sutram there is one line which states that jeevatma rests at the end of the uncooked rice grain nakhar there is one beautiful line i don't remember that line uh, 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 that jeevatma rests and then he gets that body how this annam comes taitreya states taitreyam is a upanishad Upanishad is the last part of any Veda. And Upanishaditi Upanishadaha, upon the correct recitation and understanding, Upanishads can take you very close to the reality of immortality. Upanishaditi Upanishadaha, it takes you very close. But you have to recite it with the meaning. no understand and contemplate on the meaning modal recitation inga tagarara ite apra thane a meaning la so in that there is one upanishad where the student you might know the story where the student had learned from his acharya then that acharya and the student had that tussle then that acharya said vomit all that you have learned ullila nammala edha teacher ketta enna pannadhu solunga we have got a simple answer i should vomit what i have learned 
But if the latter half is true only, I have to do the former, right? If I have learnt something only, I have to vomit. Adhivay ilena enatha vomit pundunen. Ayanala immediately the student vomited and that came as jnanam and that was left as remains and there were a certain group of birds called tittiri which ate those and transformed that knowledge into Upanishad. So tittiri pakshina uktva, it is taitriya Upanishad. In Taitri Upanishad, you have got one small mantra, Akashad Vayuhu. I spoke about this in five elements in the same Abbarao gallery. Vayor Agnihi, Agne Rapaha, Adhya Prithvi, Prithvyam Oshadayaha, Annamayo Purushaha. Akashad Vayuhu, Vayor Agnihi. It explains the sequence. I told you from Akasham, space comes Vayu, air. So it should not be uh, misconstrued as air comes from space. Air gives birth to space. No. Space has one USP, which is sound. Air has two USPs, which is sound and touch. Vayor Agni. Agni has sound, touch and form. Agner Apaha. Apaha water has sound, touch, form and taste. Fifth is Prithvi, which has the four plus one Gandhavati Prithvi, which is smell. So it goes like a Pascal's triangle, which is generally a, a, a question given in 12th standard computer science. Draw Pascal's triangle using C programming language. You have to be one, two stars, three stars, four, five. That is how you have to remember the five elements. After that, Taitri Upanishad says, Annamayo Purushaha. Because all these elements combined together helps in cultivation and you have got a rice grain. So the Jiva Atma gets attached to the rice grain. I used to think how it gets attached. I had a very, very illogical explanation to it. I will tell that also to you. All this time I used to tell whatever is logical. See, we say that we are born on earth and we die on earth. So when we die, we are into ashes. Ashes gets into the mud. So there must be the Jeevatma waiting. There the cultivation happens. So it gets attached to the rice. That's how I used to think. It may not be so. But this is a better way of remembering. Annamayo Purushaha. That is why they say... Yadbhutam yaccha bhavyam udamritatvasyeshanaha yadannenati rohati That annam, that lord who is the food to the entire world and to whom the world is his food. So he consumes the world. If you have seen Vatapatra Shai, the entire world is within him. So the world is his food. Next. Yetavanasya mahima Don't think that all what I have explained is only his uh, vaibhavam, his significance. You, the, his significance is beyond limits. Mahima. Mahima means vaibhavam. Yetavanasya mahima atojjaya gushcha purusha. These are all very beautiful sounds in Vedas that you will never get in other literature. Gushcha. Gushcha is not Sanskrit. This is a special sound of Vedas. So, atojjaya. Jaya Gusta Purushaha Pado Osya Vishwa Bhutani Tripada Syamrutam Divi Divi Rind Divi Undo. This Divi. What they say is, you have assumed, you have got that form of that Purusha, but now Pado Osya Vishwa Bhutani Tripada Syamrutam Divi. Vina, whatever you see in the world as the world is just a quarter of his. Simple You go to somebody's house. You have brought another person who has actually brought you to that house. He says, How's this house? I look at this house. Wonderful. We tell, right? Same way, Veda states, Padosya Vishwa Bhutani Tripadaha. Padam in Sanskrit means Kal. Kal na Tamil la thiriyan liya? One fourth, quarter. English na namu ula shunna tappu. Quarter na shulipda shiripa. In the quarter, one by four, the numerical, the fraction. Padaha means that. One. In Tamil, it is Kal. Kal also means feet. In Tamil. But, Interestingly, Kal, which is generally Tamil, in, Tam in Tamil which means the feet, the legs, also has the meaning quarter. 
How do we get that explained in Kambaramayanam? We have got a very rich Tamil literature. Very ancient and very rich. It is not a language which is quite new like other languages. I am from Karnataka. I was born and raised in Karnataka. Kannada is a beautiful language. Kannada is a beautiful language. It's a beautiful language. Telugu Theta. How much ever you drink Telugu, you must have heard of this book called as Amukta Malyada by Krishna Devaraya. There he says, I went to the Andhra Vishnu temple, Shikakulendra Vishnu temple. It's a beautiful island on Krishna river. And he had a dream of Lord commanding him. Of all the languages, the Lord says to Krishna Devaraya, Telugu Lesa. Telugu is very superior. So you compose and give a work in Telugu. And Krishna Devaraya asked, whom should I talk about? Who is the Nayaki or Nayaka? The one who gave me the garland that was worn by her. Tamil Lanashalon, Shudik Kodutta Nachiyar. In Sanskrit it is Amukta Malyada. Malyada, the one who gave Amukta Malyada. That is how he gave that work. It is one of the five classical works. Telugu has its own rich literature. Kannada has it. But Sanskrit is very ancient. Tamil is very ancient. People here may disagree in Chennai. But Sanskrit is older than Tamil. But Tamil also has very, a very good lineage. That we need to remember. Because in Sundarakandam also we have got very beautiful, I am digressing, very beautiful phrases of how Hanuman spoke in Tamil in Sundarakandam. In Sanskrit Sundarakandam there is one place. Uh, Sita said, uh, that time Hanuman said, how much ever I talk, I cannot explain about Ram. Let me now talk and describe him in a sweet language. In Sanskrit he says that the commentator states it must be the Dramida Bhasha, Dravida Bhasha. Because Tamil was called Tamilukkum Amudendripaya. Here, Padam, ah, in Kambaramayanam, Vishwamitra walks with Ram and Lakshmana behind. That time, he is amazed by Ram's valour. He states, Mai vannattarakki voril malai vannattu annale The dark-hued man, Un kai vannam angu kandain. I saw what your hands could do there. Kaal vannam ingu kandain. Kaal vannam is what your feet could do. When he gave vimochanam to ahalya. Kaal vannam. But the commentator for Kambaramayana states, Vishwamitra could witness the glory of Ram only for the quarter portion of Ramayana. Three fourths he, is, he can never be found. So he says, Kaal vannam ingu kandain mukkal vannam parthilai. So Kaal is given the other meaning. Here you have got padam which means kal which is quarter to denote that whatever you see in this world as this world is just a quarter the manifestation of the Lord. He has manifested three fourths. That means he has manifested in a large fashion elsewhere. Tripadasya amritam divi tripadurdva udait purushaha pado osyeha bhavat punaha pado osyeha bhavat punaha. Now that line comes again. First he said, Yetavanasya mahima atojjaya agascha purushaha padosya vishwa bhutani tripadasya amritam divi What you see is a quarter form. What you have not seen and what, he has, what you have not seen is the three-fourth that he has manifested. Again there is another line, tripadurdva udai purushaha The one who has manifested as three-fourths outside padosya, padosyeha bhavat punaha Again he has manifested here to denote that Creation is a repetitive process. How do you use punaha? Marubadiyo undutara ayver. Ekanaliya. If in English some of you might have witnessed the oral lecture, you will be seated here. Ivere marubadiyo undrikar. That means I came before. Then I have come again. Again is a word that is used to denote that I have come in the past. Pado seha bhavad punaha means that creation has happened before. Brackets. It will happen later. In mathematics, there is something called function of x. x variable, f of x. Abdina, it may happen again. Abdina, no. Mele. Tato vishvang vyakramat sashana nashane abhi sashana nashane anashane shanashane. That means that which eats and that which doesn't eat. 
நம்மளா ஈட்ல சேர்த்துருங்க அதுதான் பிறந்திருக்கோம் வி லிவ் டு ஈட் எல்லாரும் கேளுங்க இப்போ இதை இப்போ கேள்வி கேட்கறேன் புரியுறதா இல்லையா டிஸ்கஷன் யூ ஷுட் சி திஸ் ஹோட்டல் இஸ் வெரி குட் ஃபார் திஸ் யூ ஷுட் கோ தேர் இன் ஈட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் தேர் யூ மிஸ்ஸிங் சம்திங் அப்படின்னு சொல்றவா எவ்வளோ பேர் இருக்கா அதனால சாஷனா வி ஆர் தேர் அனஷனே அபி தட் விச் டசன்ட் ஈட் த பிளேட் நம்ம சாப்பிட்ற தட்டு தண்ணியை சாப்பிட்றது இல்லையோனோ இல்லையா திடீர்னு நம்ம பார்க்குறோம் எங்கே போச்சு சாப்பாடு தட்டு சாப்பிட்டு சொல்கிறது இல்லையே தட்டு டசன்ட் ஈட் தட்டு மேலே இருக்கிறத நம்ம சாப்பிட்றோம் சாஷனா நஷனே அபி ஸோ ஆல் தட் விச் ஈட்ஸ் அண்ட் தட் விச் டசன்ட் ஈட் ஹேஸ் பீன் a manifestation of that person so that is why we say he is there everywhere his omnipresence is because he has pervaded everywhere vishnu who in sanskrit means one who has completely pervaded you get it why go to the kamari all at the same time ama that means there will be some space constraint right why go to me such a big man he is inside my heart isn't it a space constraint one bedroom kitchen la irukka maari irukka dhaan ketta illiya veda state you know how comfortable he is he is as comfortable as one person who is left alone in a huge raghavendra kalyana mandapam raghavendra kalyana mandapathu ungala mattu uttudra oru le chair illa ungalku enga ukkarradune theriyad see if there is one place we have no choice we'll sit in electrical tra- electric train you should see if the train is empty first we'll go sit there inga nanna la anga poi ukkarvom we don't know when things are empty in india we don't know where to go only in queue system we follow illaya inda edana inda edana thaniya irundha thana enna pandrathu like how we wander here and there we loiter here and there when there is space as freedom he loiters in our heart with so much of space to indicate that he can get into the minutest form of because of his ability here tato vishvam vyakramat sashana nashane abhi tasmat virada jayata virajo adhi purushah so whatever you see in this world has grown from him let me go a bit past sa jato atyarichata paschat bhumi matho punah so he has grown beyond the earth to indicate that he is beyond your limits nam enna solrom ipo pirusha irundar paakave mudiyala evlo pirusha theriyuma ipo some people will ask how many people attended tiruvadipura utsavam in shriviliputtur ஒன்னுஷேஷன்ஸ் deva yagna matanvata who is the performer all the celestials are performing see in this when we perform a yagna we want a fruit that we are not having in our hand so wheat wheat nanna irukano ngadhukaga pandrom appadina enna i tried i could not bring the goodness to my house so something else is going to bring goodness to the house to get that goodness as a result i have to give some oblation what is that oblation yat purushena habisha purusha whom we spoke about till now is the habis who is the one who is performing deva yagna matanvata the celestials are performing who are the celestials we all know the names indra indrani juladinga indrani po police station kala nindruka indra perform so deva yagna matanvata vasanto asyasi dajyam vasanto the spring season see spring season is of great importance to kama deva மலை <laughs> முருகாஸ் பிரோக் ஸோ தேர் வி ஹவ் காட் ஸ்பிரிங் சீசன் 
because they say in the arrow of kamadeva there are mango flowers appadina idella vandu kalidasa you should read sanskrit literature you should read kumara sambhavam where kalidasa mentions of how kamadeva's bow was adike inga or hero slogan eduvar ipdi irundhadu bow apdi irundhadu enna artham idella paakkadhu adanalu vasanto asya seeda jam so vasanta which spring season is the key in that sacrifice so purusha is the oblation to add fuel to it ghee is the spring season celestials are performing that yagyam grishma idhma sharadhavihi the we put that sticks right grishma summer season becomes because the wood has to be dry so to get that dryness summer has to be there now tam yag tai yagyam tam nu solla kuda vedathile tai yagyam tam yagyam nu solla matta tai yagyam varhi shiprakshanna purusham jatam agratah tena deva ayajanta sadhya rishayas chaye with great ability they are performing now beautiful description tasmat yagya sarvahutah samhrsham prishadajyam so ghee and curd came out of it to indicate that various forms of wealth that you see <coughs> we see the products that we use every day one then we also see the animals that gives the products ghee engen where the curd lay the wet as curd come from milk who gives milk the cow so all these animals and their products whom you see and use have come from this sacrifice to indicate that purusha has presented himself in that creation and he has manifested into so many things so it says tasmat yagnyat sarvahutah samhrsham prishadajyam ghee and curd has come from him pashu gusta gus chakreva yavyan ஆரண்யான் கிராமியாஷ்டையே என்ன அழகு பாருங்க பசுகுஸ்தாகுஸ்சக்ரே வாயவ்யான் வாயவ்யான் மீன்ஸ் தட் விச் பிளேஸ் ஏரியல் ஆல் பேர்ட்ஸ் வாயு ஏரியல் வாயவ்யான் ஆரண்யான் தட் விச் இஸ் டெரஸ்ட்ரியல் ஆல் ஃப்ளையிங் அண்ட் வாக்கிங் பீங்ஸ் ஹவ் கம் फ्रॉम हिम வாய வாயவ்யான் ஆரண்யான் கிராமியாஷ்டையே தஸ்மாத் யக்ஞாத் சர்வஹுதஹ ரிச்சாமானி ஜக்னிரே நவு லுக் அட் தி பியூட்டி ரிச்சாமானி ஜக்னிரே फ्रॉम தட் ஹவிஸ் बिकॉज புருஷா ஹஸ் கம் புருஷா ஹஸ் மேனிஃபெஸ்டட் அஸ் ரிக் யஜுஹு சாம அதர்வணம் டு இன்டிகேட் தட் வேதாஸ் ஆர் நோ டிஃபரண்ட் பட் தி லார்ட் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் வேதம் சொன்னா பெருமாள் சொன்னா மாதிரி தட் இஸ் வை இன் early days there is a speculation that idol worship was not to a large extent as much as what it is now today idols and temples are found especially for pillayar everywhere right from central railway station to yegmore railway station any pavement is there we have brought idol worship to that level ya keta if streets meet pillayar has to be there idu enga enga vidhi vechirukalo theriyala adu tile ah otti vechirukra indha vitrified tile la ivu kadaikadhu paarenga nitko va nitko otti vechirra illa enga see all this doesn't have mention in any of our shastras mukkona the pillayar irukano paav avaru okkanda ella edathu kaavala okkaru vechukrom avaru thaniya okkanda eh keta adukku or kaaranam ponnu thedi irukkar adhu kelvi petru kelo therumanaila okkanda inna ponnu idella vendada vishayam idol worship has been brought to that level yes whereas in vedic period it was very very restricted at most they would do shala grama thiruvaradhanam avlodha so here you have got vedas are nothing but a manifestation of the lord so it says tasmad yagnyat sarvahutah richas samani jagnine so the rig sama everything has come from him chandagumsi jagnire tasmat yajus tasmat jayata chandas the meters yajurveda everything has come from him then the next line you should see please remember i want someone to answer this when all the vedas have come from him the vedas have, are nothing but a manifestation of that purusha the next line is tasmad ashwa so it says tasmad ashwa jayanta ye kesho bhayadatah so it says the horses have also come from him can someone connect kelviye purila nirmat connect ginatla kekkirir ha ashwamedha mahayagyam okay but it says ashwa comes from it in ashwamedha mahayagyam ashwa goes into it i won't explain this but ha huh? so the past 
Ashwam, that is Uchai Shravas. Okay. The previous sentences, see, I'll re tell the meaning of the sentence. Chanda gumsi jagnire tasmat, yejuhu tasmat ajayata. So, yeju sama rik has come from that sacrifice, that yajnam. Next, tasmat ashvat ajayanta. Ashva has come from it. Atharvana Veda. Okay, Atharvana Vedam. See, if you want to in a sharp tail Kalyana Tena, Kormu Mola Shalcha, Satanda Salcha, Adinu Tura, Taisa the Bodalian Yara Kekamata. When these two are in that Kramam, Taisa the will also be there. So, Sama, Yajuhu, Rik, when they say, the fourth is Antargatam. It is inside. Neither here though, Ashwan in the Tatashana, I agree, Verna. See, the previous sentence has Vedas in it. Vedanta Deshika has beautifully associated this. Samahara Samnam Pratipadam Rucham Dhama Yajusham Layaha Pratyuhanam Lahari Vitatir Bodha Jaladhehe Kathadar Pakshubhyat Kathaka Kula Kola Halabhavam Haratu Antar Dhvantam Hayavadana Hesha Halahalaha from the Halahala. Halahala is the name of the horse. Tamil in Shulva. Kudra? Tamil in Avarta. Nai Koleko? Kaneko. The Kanekar the English name. In Sanskrit, it is Halahala. So that Halahala sound of Hayagriva, who is the horse faced, has given rise to the Vedas, says Vedanta Deshika. Why in Vedas the line says, the Vedas have manifested from the Purusha. So is the horse Abdin Murchurudh. He has connected the two. We are getting it here. Chanda Gumsi Jagni Re Tasma At Tasma Ashwa Ajayanta. Ashwa came later. See it? Next. Ye Kecho Bhaya Dataha. Then came the two rows of teeth. The animals with two rows of teeth. We spoke about Dvija Chandra Chandrika. Ye Kecho Bhaya Dataha. Ye Kecha Ubhaya Adataha. Ubhaya na rind, Ubhaya Vedanti, Ubhaya Kaveri, Ubhaya is two. So two rows of Adataha, Yeke Cho Ubhaya Adataha, Yeke Cho Bhaya Adataha. Next, Gavohi Jagire Tasmat, the cattle have come from him. Tasmat Jata Ajavayaha, sheep, goat, Ajavayaha, Ajashone Nepo, Ajavayaha, Nyamanchuno. Yet Purusham Vyadaduhu, Katidha Vyakalpayan. Is unimaginable. What all has come from him? Mukham kimasya kaubahu. Now comes a question. Adukule vedam kritikadhe. That's why I said questioning is an art. It questions. You have asked about all this. Mukham kimasya kaubahu. What are his arms? Mukham, what is his face? Mukham, what is his mukham? Kaubahu, what are his arms? Mukham kimasya kaubahu. Kavuru. What is his Thai? Uru means Thai. That is why the lady who came from Uru is called Uruvashi, Urvashi. Ka Uru. Pada Uchete. What are his feet? What is his mouth? What are his arms? What is his um, uh, uh, Thai? And what, what is his feet? Kelvindurta. Next. The answer is Brahmano Osya Mukhamasi. Now, it is very controversial. Nevertheless, I will explain, running away from a controversial topic is never the, lies in the ability of the speaker. But it depends on the magnanimity of the audience to accept, contemplate and you have the right to disagree. Vedas are very democratic in nature. You put it Brahmano Osya. The question was, what is his face? What is his arms? Brahmano Osya Mukhamasi From his mouth came Brahmanas. Bahur Ajanya Kritaha From the arms came the one who protect Kshatriyas. Uru Tadasya Yad Vaishya Came the Vaishyas. Padhyagum Shudro Ajayata Shudras came from the feet. Now, as I have said, when we talk of the form of the Lord, it should not be associated with the human form. Now in English, my foot. 
அதை அப்படியே நம்ம புருஷன்ல கொண்டு வைக்க கூடாது எட்டி உதை பெண்டா நம்ம சொன்னா சூத்திரம் பிறந்தா வாயிலேருந்து அவர் திறந்து சொன்னார் இது பிறந்தார் அப்படின்னா பார்லிமெண்ட்ல சண்டை போடுற வாழ்லாம் பிராமணோசிய முகமாசி இது நான் பிறந்தா பேசிந்தானே இருக்கா சண்டை போட்டுந்தானே இருக்கா இல்லையா வி தாட் ஆஃப் சென்னிங் பார்லிமெண்டேரியன்ஸ் டு டாக் thinking they will be brahmanas by idu but then they became kshatriyas they are fighting in parliament illaya abbi artham vechukuda what we need to understand is the entire world is the lord's body see what is body can somebody tell me what shariram is shariram na puriyaradha inno oru 5 10 nimishathu mudichiruven avladha vandutom kida thatta we are coming to the end close ah uh, what is shariram naan edhu sonnala neenga thappu solla pore appo enna thana naan solradhu Shariram na enna? Look at the definition. Shariram in normal terms denotes the body. Body na itta. Edhuk nama appal lokoon, edhu mayatko edhuthum poorama, and the body. But essentially, Shariram has been given a beautiful definition by Ramanuja. That which acts and is under the control of the controller is called body. Manni, kaya thukka mudiyo manni. உங்களால நினைச்சா தூக்க முடியும் மன்னி அப்படின்னா என்ன மன்னி நினைச்சாதான் கைய தூக்க முடியும் நான் அசைந்தால் அசையும் அகிலமெல்லாமே அறிவாய் மனிதா உன் ஆணவம் பெரிதா ஆடவாய் என்னை பாட வந்ததொரு ஆடவாயை மூட வந்ததொரு பாட்டும் நானே அப்படியே உங்களுக்கு அந்த பிக்சர் ஞாபகம் வரும் பாருங்க அதுதான் இந்த மாதிரி புருஷ சூக்தத்தையும் யாராவது படமா போட்டு கொடுத்தா நன்னா இருந்திருக்கும் அதனால வாட் வி டினோட் பை பிராமணோசி முகமாசி for that i need to explain another verse because you should not go home with a confused mind alvar says pachai maamalai pol meeni namba odane emerald body nu vechunu appadi illa when you look at a group of mountains with rains that have slashed that mountains whether they lash our city or not let them lash the mountains a mountains la mala thanni peenjinde irundha there is a thin layer of moss that comes so the entire range of mountains appears as if it is a block or an emerald mountain so that is like the body of the lord abingra alvar pachai maamalai pol meeni below the in the foothills you will find trees like gulmohar trees which will shed reddish flowers when they are strewn on the ground like the scarlet pimpernel scarlet pimpernel is a flower that you find in the grasslands of england that is incidentally a book that talks about the french revolution as well so ada and the pu vilundirukiratha paatha pavalavai so the mountains resemble his body the strewn flowers resemble his lips kamala chenkan imagine there is a beautiful pond with newly bloomed lotuses if you go to a place called yanamalai near madurai you will find a narasimha temple there next to it you will find a huge pond very huge pond full of lotuses even today pavalavai kamala chenkan so the lotuses in the pond newly blossom lotuses in the pond resemble his eye kamala chenkan so the alvar has associated the creation with his body to say that the body which is the creation is under the act of the controller so ipo nam purushan na moonji apdi nechukuda to denote that there is a function associated with each you must know a brahmana can teach and can learn he should learn only the vedas he should teach only the vedas in you know, a vedic period la irundhathu brahmanosya mukhamasi how do you learn or teach when you have to teach you use your mouth so essentially to say that the sound form should be captured by the brahmana and should be taught to everyone so brahmanosya mukhamasi that function பாகுகு ஆஜன்ய கிருதக so how do you protect இப்ப இத மல்லர்கள போய் கதன தோல் வலிமை பார் that is how sharu khan hits in happy new year movie illaya ipdi thatti thatti kaamikkar பாகூர் ஆஜன்ய கிருதக so பாகு பலி அப்படி தானே அவர் சொல்ற ரம்யா கிருஷ்ணன் அதுல பாகு பலி அப்படினா இது பாகு பாகூர் ஆஜன்ய கிருதக க்ஷத்ரியா नीड्स दट 
ஏன் என்ன போய் நீங்க அமிச்சேன்னா என்ன தான் காப்பேன் இல்லையா என்ன ஒரு அடி வேற போட்டுட்டு அவர் உள்ள வந்துருவார் அதனால பாகு ராஜன்ய கிருதா ஊரு ததசிய எத்வைஷா because you should see the business people when they sit and count that money they will sit hold one bench before them madi mele panatha vechi da na kaala ennindirpa so ultimately the result of that business comes from the tight uru tadasya yad vaishya that is how he has to supply see in a yagna in those days the yagna will be performed by the brahmana will be protected by the kshatriya the money used to be supplied by the vaishya and the shudra used to assist the brahmana ipdi naal pen sendu da mannuva that is why vishwamitra who was a kshatriya Bra- turned brahmana did not protect the yagna himself he performed and called the kshatriya ram to protect hmm pasitala mande முனி யாகமுனி தியாகராஜ கிருதி வெரி சேஸ் பசிதலமண்டே முனி யாகமுனனி பாகு பராக்கிரமா யூசிங் அவர் பாகு பராக்கிரமா முனி யாகமுனனி யூ ப்ரொடெக்டட் த சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் தட் இஸ் வை நிரவதி சுகதல ரூப நிர்ஜித முனிஷாபிபேட் தட் அஹல்யா ராம் மென் கஷத்ரியாஸ் ரூல் இஸ் தட் பத்யாகும் சூத்ரோ அஜாயதா சோ பத்யாகும் மீன்ஸ் த ஃபீட் இஸ் தட் தட் வாக்ஸ் டாயில்ஸ் நீங்க பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நடந்து நடந்து விடு விடா போய் உனக்கு கத்து கொடுத்துருக்கேனே பேசி பேசி கத்து கொடுத்துக்கேன் சொல்ல மாட்டேன் நடந்து நடந்து இல்லையா நடந்து அப்படிங்கிறது சர்வீஸ் ஸோ ஹீ பர்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் த சர்வீசஸ் ஸோ நோ வேர் இட் இஸ் செட் தட் திஸ் இஸ் த பெஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த பெஸ்ட் எசென்ஷியலி தே வேர் பவர் சென்டர்ஸ் ஹூ ஸ்டார்ட் இட் டெல்லிங் தட் ஐ ஆம் த பெஸ்ட் யூ ஆர் த பெஸ்ட் தேர் இஸ் நோ டினைல் ஆஃப் இட் பட் த சிஸ்டம் இஸ் நாட் டு பி பிளேம் இஸ் வாட் அ லாட் ஆஃப் லேர்னட் ஸ்காலர்ஸ் ஃபீல் இஃப் பீப்புள் ஹேவ் டன் இட் then the word learn it should be detached from them and they should be punished in sri vaishnavism you had alvars alvars did not belong only to the brahmin class they belong to all classes it is not a revolution that was taken in the 1960s with some claim it was a revolution that was started then you had very few brahmanas in the alvars you had peri alvar madhura kavi alvar and tondaradi podi alvar who were born as brahmanas and lived as brahmanas because two things are very important you should be born and you should live like that rendu or kelliya now then then you had kshatriyas kulashekhar alvar and tirumangai alvar then you had shudra nammalvar nammalvar is the first guru today lakshminatha samarambham lakshminatha then you got vishwaksena nammalvar so nammalvar there he comes and then comes ramanuja and everybody so brahmana worships nathamuni worshiped the shudra oh, who created a revolution ayonijas tirumalishi alvar was born as a brahmana and brought up by the hunters we still worship so there was no tirukachi nambigal was a vaishya and he was an acharya to ramanuja maraneri nambi was a shudra and he was a student to alavandar differences were seen by the students when alavandar the teacher had to go for a housewarming ceremony of his house his students who were brahmanas invited their classmate maraneri nambi who was not a brahmin one day before the grav pravesham and asked him to have a look at the house on the day of the house warming ceremony the teacher is searching for all all students had arrived except that maraneri nambi so he asks the other students where is my dear student maraneri nambi they say he is not a brahmin so we called him yesterday we did not call him today which is the day of house warming the teacher said the day he came yesterday is the house warming for my day today will not be one then who is a revolutionary so once ignorance can never be an answer to knee jerk reactions of course there was a system and of course the system was mishandled by some then and by even a few today but that can never be an answer to a system in itself that way we say democracy is the best but where are we today can we go back to dictatorship no we still say democracy is the best but we are not able to implement it properly likewise so is the system you correct this and you may correct that later
ब्राह्मणोस्य मुखमासीत बाहू राजन्य कृतः ऊरू तदस्य यद्वैश्य पद्भ्यागुम शूद्रो अजायत सो आई सेट द बॉडी शुड नॉट बी मिसकन्स्ट्रूट टू द बॉडी यू सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मिस टेक इट दट वे ऑल्सो कोविल पोना पेरमा कोविल पोना एंत सचान कैपा பாத சேவை திருவடி சேவை ஆச்சான தான் கேப்போம் கோவிலுக்கு போனா இன்னி பட்டர் யூஸ் ஏ திருவடி என்ன சேவிச்சுக்கோங்க தான் சொல்வார் நாபிய சேவிச்சுக்கோங்க தொடைய சேவிச்சுக்கோங்க யாரும் சொல்லவே மாட்டா சோ தட் டைம் யூ சே பாத சேவா பட் தி மொமெண்ட் தே சே சூத்ரோ பாதோசிய சூத்ரஹ தென் வை ஷட் தி क्वेश्चन கம் இஸ்ன்ட் இட் an oxymoron so people who are mishandling the system from any class are to be punished at the same time the system can never be entirely blamed because a system is insentient in nature one who makes it living are the human being it is in our hands how to implement the system in a better way next <coughs> nabhya now comes a question how is the lord's uh, body nabhya aasit antariksham whatever you see above is his nabhi shirshno dhyauhu samavartata dhyauhu all the sky and the earth that you see padbhyam bhumir dishah shrotrat padbhyam bhumihi the earth is his feet that is why you have got earth is his feet padbhyam bhuhu vishnu sahasnamam says bhu padau yasya na nabi tirupi podunga ade pado bhuhu bhu padau yasya nabi vs asudarinla chandra suryau cha netre chandra suryau cha netre varda his eyes are the sun and the moon here you see shrautrat loka akalpayan सप्तासन पिधय सप्त सप्तमृतावाद्यन्वाबन पुषं पशु अंदर चंद्रमा मनसो जाता चक्षो सूर्योरजात चक्षु ऐ चंद्रमा मनसो जाता बिकॉज हिस् मन इज चंद्र दट इज वै यु गॉट एनी लव लिट्रेचर हेमा गोपाल अड़क मोटेमा की चिंता கோபால் ஹேமாவை அழைத்துக் கொண்டு சென்றாள் ஏமா உன் மூஞ்சியானது முகமானது அதோ தெரிகின்ற நிலவு போல் இருக்கின்றதே தட் மீன்ஸ் ஷி இஸ் சோ கூல் இங்கிலீஷ்ல சொல்றேன் ஹிஸ் ரியலி கூல் அப்படின்னு அப்படின்னா சந்திரன் இருக்காருன்னு அர்த்தம் அந்த இடத்துல நோ படி வில் சே ஹிஸ் ஹார்ட் இஸ் லைக் சன் அப்படின்னு சொல்ல மாட்டான் ஈவன் டு த சன் த ஃபாதர்ஸ் ஹார்ட் ஷுட் பி லைக் த மூன் இல்லையா அதனால சந்திரமா மனசோ ஜாதக சோஹோ சூரியோரஜாயத கதிர்மதியம் போல் முகத்தான் திங்களும் ஆதித்யனும் எழுந்தார் போல் சந்திர சூரியன் என்ன அப்பிரமேயவாகீந்திர ஜனக சகலேசூப்ர நாகேந்திர சயன சமன வைரி சன்னுத ஜகத்த நந்தக சந்திர சூரிய நயன அப்பிரமேயவா चंद्र सूर्य उच्चनेत्रे चंद्रमा मनसो जातः चक्षो सूर्यो रजायस कदिर मदियम पोल मुगत्तान तिंगळु मादित्यनुम येळंदार पोल लुक एट हाउ ऑल दीस लाइंस स्पीक ऑफ द सेम बट इन डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट देन भूमिर दिशा श्रोत्राह द कल्पयन सप्तास्यासन परिधयः त्रिसप्त समिधकृताः सो दे से व्हाट आर ऑल हिज लिम्स दे से द 12 मंथ्स மாசங்கள்ிஷன் the creator is infused in the creation that is the usp of hinduism creator is different from the creation see nanna ninga parungo when they say do yoga and salute doing surya namaskar to the sun some claim for us the creator is different from the creation sun is a creation by the creator we will worship only the creator and not the creation why don't we take that concept because for us the creation is by the creator but the creator has got himself pervaded in the creation so ipo thoona paathutu prahladan sonnane perumal idhila irpar enna thoona padachathu perumal da adhe perumal thoonu kulliyo irpar the creator ipo nadiya edathla amma kolandai petthu edukra mother is different from the child 
ஆனா அந்த குழந்தை சில வேலை பண்ணும்போது அவ பாட்டி சொல்லுவோம் அப்படியே உங்க அம்மாவையே கொண்டுருக்கேடா அப்படின்னா மதர் இஸ் ஸ்டில் இன்சைட் த சைல்ட் எட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஹிம் அதுதான் இந்த இடத்துல நம்ம சொல்றோம் லாஸ்டா யஜ்ஞேன யஜ்ஞமய ஜந்த தேவாக தானி தர்மாணி பிரதமான தேகநாகம் மகிமான சஜந்தே எத்திர பூர்வே சாத்தியா சந்தி தேவாக வேதாக மேதம் புருஷம் மகாந்தம் வேதாஸ் ஃபைனலி சே வேதாக மேதம் வி யூ கேன் த்ரூ வேதாஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் புருஷா பட் ரிமெம்பர் பட் ஆஃப்டர் ரீடிங் தட் டோன்ட் திங்க் தட் ஹீஸ் லிமிட்டெட் ஓன்லி டு திஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் சொல்வாலே பிக்சர் பாக்கி ஹே மேரே தோஸ் அப்படின்னு அந்த இதில் ஓம் சாந்தி ஓம்ல வரோமே So whatever you read at the end of it, there is much more left after it. Vedaha metam, Purusham mahantam, Aditya varnam tamasapurastha, Tameham vidvan, Amrita ihabhavati, Nanya pantha. What do you want to say? Tameham vidvan, Amrita ihabhavati. So the one who is learned is the one who understands. Who is learned? Learned is a definition. Tameham vidvan, Amrita ihabhavati. So the, the learned is the one who understands. that the only way to reach immortality or to attain immortality is to understand this purusha tameham vidwan amrita iha bhavati idu ore oru vali da irukku inda purushana therinjundada anda purusha apdingaradha da perumaalukku shastram solradhu parama purusham லலிதா பஞ்சமங்கிற ராகத்தை சுவாதி திருநாள் கீர்த்தனை புருஷா புருஷோத்தமா அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் இல்லையா அதனால புருஷா அதனால தமேகம் வித்வான் அமிர்தய பவதி நவ் கம்ஸ் அ கொஸ்டின் ஓன்லி இஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் புருஷா வில் யூ அட்டைன் இம்மார்டாலிட்டி உடனே நம்ம கேட்போம் ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்கு இஸ் தேர் எனி அதர் வே முடிச்சுடுத்து கவிதார்கிகசிம்மாய கல்யாண குணசாலினே ஸ்ரீமதே வெங்கடேஷாய வேதாந்த குரவே நம வில் டேக் ஒன் ஆர் டூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு திஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் எனி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் யூ கேன் ஆல்வேஸ் ஆஸ்க் தட்ஸ் அ ஸ்கிரிப்ட் யா தட்ஸ் அ ஸ்கிரிப்ட் அதாவது அந்த எழுத்துக்கு தேவநாகரின் பேர் தேவ நகரம் தேவர்கள்னு பொதுவாக சொன்னால் த காமன் த வேர்ட் தேவ இன் often refers to the celestials nagaram means the place where they reside it was called amaravati so devanagaram could be amaravati this is one way of interpreting it devanagari is that language and script which arose from that devanagaram that is why you call sanskrit as the deva bhasha the language of the gods abin jolra devanagari is the name of that script like how you had brahmi script devanagari script தமிழ்லேயே அந்த காலத்தில் கிரந்தம்னு ஒன்று உண்டு கிரந்தம்ங்கிறது புஸ்தகம் கிடையாது சாதாரணமாக கிரந்தம்னா புஸ்தகம் கிரந்தம்ங்கிறது ஒரு லிபி அது ஒரு மாதிரி மணிப்பிரவாளத்தையே ஒரு விதமாக எழுதுவா நவ் லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் கம் அண்ட் கிவ் மீ தோஸ் புக்ஸ் சார் வி ஹவ் கிரந்த லிபி புக்ஸ் வி கே நாட் ரீட் நான் சொன்னேன் ஈவன் ஐ கே நாட் ரீடு நீங்கள் ஒன்று தமிழ்லேயே சம்ஸ்கிருதத்திலே கொடுங்க அப்படி கொடுத்தா தான் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஒன் லிபி ஒன் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் கால் தேவநாகரி எஸ் சார் இந்த மந்திரம் சொல்லுங்க ஏனா சம் மந்திராஸ் we skip in recitation yeah what is the mantra நீங்க என்ன சொல்லிடுங்க yeah விததத் ரூபம் இதி அதை பிரிக்கும்போது எப்படினா whatever form you see is of the lord அதாவது இப்ப நீங்க பாக்குற விஸ்வகர்மண சமவர்த்ததாதி தசியஸ்வஷ்டா விதத திரூபமேதி இத வந்து விஸ்வகர்மண விஸ்வகர்மண விஸ்வம்ங்கிற அந்த விதிய விதிச்சது இவர் 
ரூபம் இதுதான் இவருடைய ரூபம் the world is his form this form is of that purusha ipo namba vande ipo parungo i said the entire world is that of his subsequently there is another point in that mantra inna na if i say the entire world is his avana the kepa inga athla iruka western closet um avara indian commod kuvamu avara aama avarda ஆனா இப்போ கம்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின் என்ன சார் கூவத்தை போய் புருஷன் மாதிரி சொல்லிட்டேல ஆனா ஒன்னும் கூவம் பெருமாள் ஆனா கூவத்தில் இருக்கிற எந்த அழுக்கும் பெருமாள் கிடையாது வெரி இன்டெலிஜென்ட் வே ஆஃப் எஸ்கேப்பிங் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் விதத ரூபமே தீனா என்ன அர்த்தம்னா ரூபம் ஸ்வரூபம் ஆர் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங்ஸ் ரூபம் மீன்ஸ் தட் விச் இஸ் சீன் ஸ்வரூபம் இஸ் தட் விச் இஸ் ஃபெல்ட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ரூபம் ஆஃப் மைண்ட் குட் ஹாவ் திஸ் குர்தா but what you feel is my good behavior swarupam gardi inner summa jana behavior la nikilla nu chunga summa or example behavior is swarupam external characteristics are rupam so the entire world rupam vidada rupam iti na artham enna na the world is his but the flaws in the world don't get attached to him how see i said the entire world is his body and he is the controller like the body is this and the controller is inside how do we say now for example ye mele vandu aluk irukku nu vechukonga dirt is this dirt to my body or to my atma ha ah, only not to atma inna ipo atma thaniya pogumbod mele alukoda surface lodiya pogum pogad body ku da irukku now i have said transpose or extrapolate this to the creation the entire creation is his body that means he is the atma for that body so the flaws in this world is only for the body not for that atma who is the controller we are able to extrapolate if an ambo aluk vadamla iruka aluk vadambukku da atma ku illa ulagame avarku vadambu avar da atma sthanathula irkar appadina ulagathil iruka aluk avar kottadu appadina koovam gerad avar vadambula irukku ana koovathil iruka aluk avarku ottadu ena avar vera avaroda body vera சோ ரூபம் அழுக்குங்கிறது அச்சேதன தத்துவம் இன்சென்ஷியன்ட் சி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வி பிலீவ் வெரி கிளியர்லி தட் த வேர்ல்ட் விச் கன்ஸ்டிடியூட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் த சென்ஷியன்ட் அண்ட் த இன்சென்ஷியன்ட் மேட்டர் இஸ் டுகெதர் எட் தே டோன்ட் ஸ்டிக் வித் ஈச் அதர் புரியுதா ஸ்டிக்னா இப்போ வந்து உடம்பு நமக்கு முழுக்க அச்சேதனம் இன்சென்ஷியன் ஆத்மா இஸ் சென்ஷியன்ட் இட் இஸ் இன்சைடட் பட் எட் டிஃபரண்ட் ஃப்ரம் இட் தட் இஸ் வை வென் ஆத்மா கோஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப் த பாடி யூனிக் ஆத்மா போச்சு லிவரை மட்டும் எடுத்துன்னு போயிடுது அப்படின்னு சொல்ல மாட்டோம் இட் இஸ் இன்செப்பரபிள் ஃப்ரம் த பாடி எட் இட் கேன் பி செப்பரேட்டட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஸ்டிக் அந்த அடேஷன் இருக்காது அந்த மாதிரி இந்த உலகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய சென்ஷியன்ட் அண்ட் இன்சென்ஷியன்ட் ஆர் ஹிஸ் பாடி and even in the times of destruction that sentient insentient go to a subtle form and in the creation time it comes to the gross form eppadi ipo vande peacock feathers irukku adangi pralaya kaalathula irukumbodhu feathers alla adangi irukku ana adangi irukumbodhu feather vera peacock vera creation varumbodhu virikkirathu அந்த மாதிரி தான் இந்த உலகத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய சென்ஷியன்ட் அண்ட் இன்சென்ஷியன்ட் ஆர் நெவர் இன்சைட் ஹிம் தே ஆர் பை ஹிம் பட் தே ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஹிம் டியூரிங் கிரியேஷன் டியூரிங் டிஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் அண்ட் டியூரிங் கிரியேஷன் தே அட்டைன் அ கிராஸ் ஃபார்ம் ஃப்ரம் த சட்டில் ஃபார்ம் ஸோ ஹீ இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அப்படின்னு ஸோ இந்த கூவத்தில் இருக்கிற அழுக்கெல்லாமும் அவரோட உடம்பில் இருக்கு ஆனால் அந்த அழுக்கின் தன்மை அவரை ஒட்டாது தட் கான் தட் தட் dirtiness is will never get attached to him akila heya pratyanikam na per one who is bereft of flaws ah praise praise suktam stuti suktam idella stotram idellame praise tha that which praises the him that praises the purusha is purusha suktam the the him that praises the shri is called shri suktam lakshmi nor vartha chattu nu varave varadu shri inda varum 
போற்றப்படுகின்றவளேடுக்கிறார் any part of vedas right from the pranavam omkaram should not be recited omkarathu kuda ammunu dhan solanum pengal sahasra naamam sollum bodhu kuda vishnu sahasra naamam sollum bodhu vera endha sahasra naamam sollum bodhu archana pannum bodhu panna panna kudadu pannita ammunu solanum am vishnave namaha am vishvaye namaha am bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhaye namaha ammunu solanum அப்படி சொல்லாம வெறும் சாஸ்தாம சொல்லலாம் பூத பவ்ய பவத் பிரபு பூத கிருத் பூத பிரத் அப்படி சொல்லி போலாம் முன்னாடி அரிகியோம் பின்னாடி அரிகோம் சொல்லக்கூடாது அப்படின்னு பெரியவா விதிச்சிருக்கா எம் எஸ் சுப்புலட்சுமி சொல்லி இப்போ உலகமே இருக்கு ஏன் ஒரு கேள்வி வரும் சி இதெல்லாம் கலியுகத்தினுடைய சொல்ல தெரியல சொல்லக்கூடாதும் பா சி அதுக்கெல்லாம் காரணங்கள் சொல்றா அந்த காலத்துல ஸ்திரீகள்லாம் சொல்லின்றதா சில தர்மசாஸ்திரங்கள்ல இருக்கு அதையும் சொல்லிடுறேன் ஓபனா அழுத்தம் புரியறதா இப்ப வேதத்தை இப்படிதான் சொல்லணும் முன்னாடியே சொல்லிட்டேன் இப்படிதான் சொல்லணும் சுவாமி கொஞ்சம் மெதுவா சொல்லலாமான்னு வராது அது அழுத்தமா சொல்லணும் அழுத்தமா சொன்னா கனப்பாட்டிகளே வேர்க்க வெவ்வேற்க சொல்லுவா ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் அது அதனால பெண்களுடைய ரீப்ரொடக்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் எஃபெக்ட் ஆயிடக்கூடாதுங்கிறதுக்காக வச்சிருக்கா அப்ப ஏன் அந்த காலத்து சில சில விமன் சொன்னா அப்படின்னு ஒரு கேள்வி ஏன்னா ஒரு ரெண்டு இடத்துல விமன் சொல்ற மாதிரி இருக்கு என்னன்னா சி சர்டன் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் எஃபெக்ட் ஒன்ஸ் ஹெல்த் அப்படின்னா தெர் ஆர் சர்டன் பீப்புள் வித் சுப்பீரியர் பில்ட் அப் ஹூ கேன் ட்ரான்ஸ் ஹூ கேன் கிராஸ் தட் பேரியர் நம்ம சொல்றோம் இல்லையா இப்போ அழகே சிங்கர் வைஷ்ணவ சம்பிரதாயத்தில் ஆண்டவன் பரமாச்சாரியாள் இவெல்லாம் தே ஹாவ் சம் எபிலிட்டி விச் வி மே நாட் ப்ரொசஸ் உடனே நீங்கள் சொல்வேன் நோ நோ சேம் பாடி ஹோமோ சேபி என்ன அதில் இன்னமும் இருக்கு அதனால நம்மளால பண்ண முடியாத சில காரியங்கள் அவளால் முடியும் ஒரே ஜாத்தியில சஜாத்தியமா இருந்தாலும் தேர் எபிலிட்டிஸ் வெரி ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் தே கேன் சி சம்திங் விச் அதர்ஸ் கே நாட் பிரமண மகர்ஷி இருந்தார் அவருக்கு ஏதோ கேன்சர்லாம் லேட்டர் ஸ்டேஜ்ல வந்துடுத்தும் சொல்வா ஆனா அவர் கூமி கலாட்டாவா பண்ணார் ஹி ஹேட் த எபிலிட்டி டு வித் ஸ்டாண்ட் நம்மளால ஒரு பல்லு வலி வந்தா நம்ம பண்ற அட்டகாசம் எபிலிட்டி இல்லை நமக்கு அதனால அந்த லேடிஸோட நம்மளை கம்பேர் பண்ணிக்க கூடாது அப்படின்னு பெரிய வாழ்லாம் விதிச்சிருக்கா அது கலியுகத்தில் எஸ்பெஷலி சி வென் ஆல் அவர் ஆச்சாரம் ஹஸ் கம் டவுன் அண்ட் ரீச் த பாட்டம் என்ன பாட்டம் சொல்லுவா ஆங்கிலத்தில் ராக் பாட்டம்மா ராக் பாட்டம்மை ரீச் பண்ணி கொடுத்து அதனால் இன்னொரு ராக் கீழெல்லாம் போனால் நமக்கு மைனிங் தான் பண்ணி ஆகணும் அவ்வளோ ராக்கை ரீச் பண்ணி விட்டோம் ஸோ இப்போ நமக்கு எபிலிட்டியே இல்லை பெண்களை கொடுங்கோ கிட்டத்தட்ட ஆண்களுக்கே அந்த எபிலிட்டி இல்லை வேதம் சொல்கிறதுக்கு இல்லையா பெண்களை விட்டுருங்கோ ஆண்களுக்கே இல்லைம்பேனா அதனால் வச்சிருக்கா அர்த்தம் புரிஞ்சுக்கலாமே அர்த்தமே இவ்வளோ காம்பீரியமாக இருக்குது சொல்கிறது ஈஸி சுவாமி என்னை கிட்ட சொல்கிறது ஈஸி புரியறது தான் கஷ்டம் இதில் ஈஸியாக புரிஞ்சது ஜாபஜாதே கூட்ட வாவுலேருந்தே ஜபூமி விஸ்வதோ இப்படி சொல்லிட்டு போயிடுறோம் அர்த்தம் சொல்கிறது முடி முடியறதா இப்போ வெளில போகணும்னு கேட்டதே திரும்பி ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கிறது கஷ்டம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு புருஷ சுக்தம் இஸ் ஹவு பை பஸ் இவ்வளோ டு கிளியர் ஹவ் டேக்கன் அ லாட் ஆஃப் யர் டைம் சிக்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஆரம்பிச்சு எயிட் தேர்ட்டி பண்ணி விட்டு என்ன உதைக்க போகிறான் நாளைக்கு அதனால் டுமாரோ சிக்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி கரெக்டாக ஆரம்பிச்சுடலாம் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் பை சிக்